Hello and welcome again to another video on number theory. So today I wanted to talk to you about uh, one calculator to rule them all in number theory. So what I mean by that is that I'm going to show you a calculator which I think is pretty good for number theory. Of course, uh, that all depends on your preferences. So maybe you want to use uh, something else. So and I will talk about those things also here in this video. So this is our plan. The plan will be to talk about what is PADI GP. That's the number theory calculator. We also will talk about why you might want to use this calculator. And I'm going to give you a sample session of PADI GP. It's not going to be a tutorial. I'm just going to show you uh, some of the things that you can do in the calculator. And finally, I'm going to show you how you can use the calculator online uh, if you don't want to install the program yet. So what is PADI GP, the number theory calculator? Now, when you open PADI GP, this is what you will see. You will see something that looks like uh, uh, some text and it doesn't have any nice uh, buttons and features anywhere. It's a text-based uh, calculator. So that means you will have to go and, and type your commands there. It's a console application. Now, Party GP is a lot more than a number theory calculator. So, uh, Party GP is a widely used computer algebra si system designed for fast computations in number theory. Uh, what I have right there, all of these uh, things here are taken directly from the website of Party GP. Now, it's more, much more than a number theory calculator. You can do more things with it. You can uh, plot, you can do many things that you can do in a computer algebra system. It's just that it's text-based. So, and I will make a case of on why you might want to use something like this. So why would you want to use EGP instead of, for example, your graphing calculator? So let's say you have a graphing calculator, like a TI-84 plus E or any other graphing calculator. So why would you want to use a so for like PADI instead of just using your calculator? So there are several reasons. One is that the modern calculators as of May 2020 can only store numbers up to a hundred digits. Now hundred digits numbers are not small, but they are small in some cases when you have to do some computations with uh, number theory, you want to do for example, some experimentation with some numbers, and some of those numbers might be larger than that. So the calculator won't be able to handle those type of numbers. Now, they also lack functionality for number theory. So even though they have uh, some of the functions that you use in number theory, so some of them are not there. And calculators are designed for general purposes. I'm not saying the calculators are bad or you should not have one. These are for general purposes. So for example, if you are taking a calculus class or a statistics or any other math class, a calculator like this is probably good for that. But for something that number theory, you probably will need something else. Now, how about other computer algebra systems? So there are many computer algebra systems you could use. I'm just going to give you an example of some of the most uh, prevalent in, in the business. So for example, Mathematica is one computer algebra system. You also have MapleSoft and you also have MATLAB and many others. And some others are also uh, out there. So there are many computer algebra systems. Now, all of these computer algebra systems, they all have number theory capabilities. They are more than a calculator, of course, but I think Party GP is better our number theory. So it's supposed to be faster, it's highly customizable, and you can actually program in PADI. You can do programming in Mathematica, Maple, and MATLAB too. But I think PADI is better at number theory. And that again is my opinion. If you, for example, like Mathematica better or Maple or MATLAB, you just go ahead and use that. It all comes down to your preference, basically. And my preference for number theory is to use Party GP, and I will make my case. And if you are not convinced, then you use whatever is best for you. 
Now, one thing I want to mention about uh, the softwares is that they are not cheap. Like, for example, Mathematica for the student version uh, has the prices that you see right there. Um, if you are not a student and you want to buy Mathematica for your desktop or use it online, the price is a little bit more expensive. Uh, Maple has a student license of $100. If you're not a student, then it's going to be a little bit more expensive. And a MATLAB uh, is about $100 uh, for a perpetual license. This is for the student version. Uh, now, I'm not saying that you should not do that. If you are willing to pay this kind of money for your system and if you like it a lot, th then you should do that. Uh, but one advantage of Party GP is it is a free software. So you don't have to pay anything for it. And it's open source. So you can actually see how the algorithms work inside. And if you want to contribute to the software and create some algorithms or functions for number theory or any of the systems that are there, you can do so. Now, I will give you a sample session of PartyGP. So a sample is just to show you some of the features. It's not a, uh, a tutorial on the system, but it's just a sample session. Uh, remember, this is not a tutorial. It's rather a sample on how to use uh, PartyGP. So some nice features that I can show you uh, at this moment. So let's start with a, a simple computation. So let's say we want to compute a thousand factorial. A thousand factorial is the multiplication of all the numbers from one through a thousand, all the natural numbers. So if we put that into party GP, as you can see, we can get the answer pretty fast. Now that probably is something you cannot do in a modern calculator. You could do, for example, this, something in like Mathematica, Maple, or MATLAB, but probably not in a calculator. So what else can we do? So this, let's see how many digits we have in this number that we see right here. So let's look at the digits. So to look at the digits, we're going to say length, and we're going to put the length of what? The, the, the length of the digits of that uh, number. The number that we have here is a thousand uh, factorial. So I'm going to close that parenthesis that you see right there. And that should give me the number of digits that we have in that number is 2,568. Now that's a really big, that's a big number. Now let's look at some other things that we can do. So what else can we do? We do, a, we can do a lot of things in Pati GP. One of them is find the divisors. We have seen that in the course. So divisors of a number, you just type divisors, as you can see there. So we saw the divisors of 60, so let's do that here in the software, divisors of 60. And if we press enter, we get a list of all the divisors of 60. We can also get the divisors of, for example, let's say 10 factorial. Let's look at that, 10 factorial. And so that will give us all that long list. So that's the list of the divisors of 10 factorial. We can all try a little bit bigger and see what happens. So let's say what is the divisors of a 100 factorial. 100 factorial is still a big number. So what happens if we do that in party? So it gives us an error. So sometimes party is going to give you errors. In this particular case, it's because uh, there is not enough memory allocated for the program to run that number of divisors. Now you can set it so you can run it. That's fine. Just at this moment, party is a uh, TOEFL of your computer and just takes a little bit amount of memory, but you can set it up as a way so it can take more memory depending on what you want to compute. Now, even though we cannot do that, we can ask for the number of divisors of that 100 factorial. So that's number of divisors. And then let's say 100 factorial. And if we put that, let's see how many divisors. So that's a lot of divisors. That's why we had an error because in order to display that number of divisors, we need a lot of memory. So what else can we do? There's tons of things of tons of uh, number theoretical functions that you can run in Party GP. But that's not the only thing. You can run things numerically. For example, we can ask what is pi so pi in this case is 3.1459. That is uh, 
some digits of some expansion of the number pi. If you want a little bit more, then you can set tell Patty to set the number of digits of the precision a little bit larger. So for example, if we type that and then the number of digits that you need, so let's say in this case is 211 significant digits. So 200 digits is gonna be display. We can ask for pi again. And if we do that, then we will get the value of pi for more digits. Now, th remember this is just a sample of what Patty can do uh, and this is not a tutorial. We will look at tutorials later. Now you can also try Party online in case you don't want to install the software yet. You can do it on your browser and I will do that right now. All right, you can also try Party GP in your browser. So there is no need for you to install the software if you don't want to do it. Let's, let's say you are not still ready committed to install the software in your machine and you want to try it out without installing anything. So what you want to do is you want to uh, go to search for party uh, GP on your browser, any any browser. And since so usually is going to be the first one that you're going to see, just click on that one, click on party development quarters. And on the left hand side, you're going to see a link that says GP in your browser. So you can click on that and it'll take you to this web page. So this area right here is the one that you're gonna use to type your commands in Perry, like the ones we did in the sample. So we can do the same kind of things. So let's say for example, we want, let's say again, like 10 factorial, and then to evaluate, you just press here, evaluate with Perry, and then you get the answer there. You can do the similar things we did. So divisors. Uh, let's say 10 factorial and let's see what happens in that case. So let's evaluate with that and then we get the the number of the, the divisors of the number 10 factorial. Now my, many other things that you can do in the program, you can do them here. The only thing that is the difference is going to be that this is going to be probably a slower if you're trying to do computation with larger numbers because it has to run in your browser. So it's better to have it in your machines, but if you don't want to try it, if you just want to try it and you wanna, don't want to install anything, this is a good way to do it. Uh, and that's that's all I, I want to show you for this part. So you can also try it in your browser. And if you somehow decide that this is something that you would like to try in your computer, you can install it. Now, after all of this, if you decide to install Party GP in your system, I will provide the instructions in the next video. So that's all I have to say for today. Thank you for watching. Take care and good luck.